hey guys welcome back to our channel so um today i thought i would show you guys the life of a door dasher i think i asked this question um on one of my vlogs before if you guys want a video like this um and i thought it'd be cool you know um to show you i'm gonna try to the best to the to the best of my ability really show you the ins and outs of being a door dasher um and also like being honest about it because i'll be seeing a lot of i be i'm gonna start trying to you know say the correct grammar okay um i have been seeing uh a lot of people on you know the tiktoks and stuff like that where they like you know i make so much money door dashing and uber eats and you know doing their little videos and it's like girl you have to door in my opinion you would have to door dash or uber eats or whatever food services that you drive for you would have to be doing it from sun up to sundown for you to make that much money um because it's not it like really think about that you will get orders that you know maybe i'm gonna break it down a little bit okay so pretty much you know i started back in november i started back in november of 2023 um and I started, you know, I started doing doing it because I want to make some extra money. Like, why else do people, you know, do it? Either they want to make some extra money um, or they may have lost their job or whatever. And so, you know, that's their primary income. Um, and so I was not expecting to make a lot of money off the bat because I've done driver driving services before. Back in Illinois, I was doing Uber and Lyft. So I knew, you know, how the method really, you know, how it goes. And so I wasn't expecting to make all this money, but I knew also then that you have to do a lot of driving, whether it's, you know, driving people for Uber or Lyft or doing Uber Eats and DoorDash. You have to do that a lot every day for you to make a decent amount of money. Um, so I already knew coming into this that, you know, whatever. But I see a lot of people on, you know, social media that just hype it up like you're just making all this amount of money. Sometimes it's not that. It really isn't. So you sometimes you can make a decent amount within your driving time, but I will say for people who do this as a side hustle and not a full-time job, we're not making that much money. And I'm not I don't want to speak for everybody because I don't know what you're doing, how you're doing it. But when you have a nine to five job coming out and driving for hours and hours and hours and hours upon hours, who's doing that? So I'm going to show you what it's like to really, you know, drive for a couple of hours and see how much money, you know, that is possible to make. Today is Saturday, February 9th um I, you guys know i started my new job so i don't even think i've told you guys my feelings about my job um but it's not about that but you know maybe i'll go into it one day but for now i really like it everything's cool everything's great uh, i am in training we have like <laughs> probably like three months of training to be honest so um during that amount of time i work monday through friday so i have weekends off which is great i really hope i'm able to keep that type of schedule um because it's great anyway so i am off i my daughter as you guys can see is not in the car with me um she is with i just dropped her well my sister and my mom just came pick her up for me um, I had plans to go out this weekend, but priorities, uh, you know, takes precedence. So, um, I'm like, you know what, this would be a perfect time to really, you know, door dash. Cause when I do, when I door dash after work, so y'all know I'm a hustler. So after I get off work, right, I go door dashing for a couple hours before I pick up my daughter. So only on the weekends or so that I would really have time to like really door dash for quite some time. So I'm like, you know, this would be a perfect time to take y'all and like door dash for as long as I can and, you know, really show y'all the ins and outs. I can't show y'all a lot because I'm driving to people's, you know, houses and stuff, but I'll just kind of, you know, let y'all know kind of what it is, you know, in between right now, um, to right now it's one o'clock. Sometimes, um, I like to try, so I like to start in the morning 
into the afternoon because I don't like to drive at night. It is hard. Okay, here's one tip, okay? If you don't like driving at night, you definitely not gonna like driving DoorDash or Uber Eats because it's hard to find people's addresses at night. I, like, I don't know why y'all don't have these addresses bold for us to see. I mean, not even just us, but anybody in general. I literally will have to be looking up and down like, wait, that's one. Okay, let me tell y'all a couple things I don't like about, <laughs> a couple things I don't like about door dashing, all right? One, I don't like driving at night because I can't barely see the addresses, right? Not because I'm blind, but because people don't have the addresses apparent for me to see. Um, two, I hate delivering to apartment complexes. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Okay? Listen, if you stay all the way to the top of the heavens in your apartment complex, meet me downstairs. Meet me downstairs. I'm not, I'm a big girl, and I know that's not your problem, but even a skinny person, meet me downstairs. Meet me downstairs. Okay, my bad, y'all. Listen, first of all, intermission, okay? Do y'all have a Dutch Bros? I don't know if I mentioned this on my YouTube. I definitely mentioned it on my TikTok, but um do y'all have a dutch rose by y'all because listen here okay this is their um like you know valentine's day kind of latte thing thing or whatever but dutch bros is killing it do you hear me this is a medium size but they have like a big large size for like six dollars i said starbucks who <laughs> starbucks who um anyway but let me pull over y'all because <sighs> You know, as a content creator, you start thinking of different stuff. So after I'm done with y'all, I'm about to go over to TikTok and make a couple videos. I just thought I should do some, uh, you know, things I don't like about door dashing. <laughs> That'd be a good video. Anyway, um, but let me turn this off. But anyway, so yeah, if you stay upstairs, leave me downstairs, okay? Um, what else I don't like about DoorDash? Um, if you know that your complex is your like your housing apartment complex is a little bit difficult you know what i'm saying to get through or get to meet me downstairs okay i'm not going to be driving up and through here okay circling around 15 times trying to find your apartment meet me downstairs or at the front okay if you know you live in a complex it's, it's, see it's all about apartments because they be the worst if you know that you live in a gated community send me the code Put the code in the description of uh, the food order, okay? Because I shouldn't have to text you and or call you to find out what the code is, okay? If you, now listen, okay? This one thing I don't want to complain about because I think the further you go out, the more money you make. But at the same time, like, is this the only Walmart that you've seen on the app? Why do I have to drive 20 minutes to drop your stuff off at Walmart? First of all, when did DoorDash start doing grocery orders? Like, I thought y'all was just a, a, a hot food, McDonald's, Burger King, you know what I'm saying, Starbucks orders. Since when we started going grocery shopping for y'all, this is not Instacart. You want somebody to go grocery shopping, go to Instacart. I know I'm complaining. I know at the end of the day, I'm making money. I get it. But listen... If I wanted to work this hard, I would have just got a whole second nine to five job. Okay, y'all. So, um, I went and got my things. I'm a little behind because it's 2.30 now. Um, last clip, it was like 1 o'clock, I think. Um, I was sitting here editing this. Uh, I told you I was making a, a TikTok. And I was editing the TikTok. I did five things I don't like about DoorDash. When I tell y'all, that thing is blowing up right now, y'all. Like, I'm at... 642 views i got hundreds of comments not hundreds let me stop but i have like a lot like right now i have 67 notifications and i checked already by like 42 um so that video is blowing up as we speak okay and i just posted that video maybe 15 20 minutes ago so that is amazing it's on the greenwich family uh tiktok so if you guys are not um following that you should but people are liking it Come on, TikTok. Discover your girl. Anyway, um, so I got my stuff. All right, so I'm at the gas station. I just pumped me some gas, so I got gas in my car. Um, I got me a little snack, okay? McDonald's fries. Um, I got me a little coffee drink, and I'm ready to hit the road. These are the preparations, you know, that some of us DoorDashers take. We got to make sure we got gas in the car. Um, 
the thing I will say that was a little bit more easy um, with this DoorDash and stuff um, than uh, Lyft and Uber is it was hard to get gas because I mean I did it the same way like I would because I had a thing where and I still do where I don't really like to turn my app off unless I'm done for the day so I'll try to squeeze in my bathroom breaks and um, getting gas if I run out in between you know having my app on because I don't want to miss no order so with Uber though and Lyft people were waiting on you to come get them you know what I'm saying so it was kind of hard and then there's a map in in the app so they can see you driving they can see you stopping they can see your every move so if I kind of go off the map and I'm you know drifting off into a gas station and trying to sneak in your gas a little bit or if an order come in and I'm already at the gas station and they see me just sitting there not doing nothing like I don't want to build that impression you know I, I think I've had one person that was when I was driving for it, either Uber or Lyft I had one customer notice I was sitting there and I think I was pumping gas or something like that and they asked me you know was everything okay and I'm like oh I don't want them to you know um you know feel some type of way or whatever I also will say that with DoorDash you don't get canceled orders like that well I haven't um no matter how long the wait I've never had anybody cancel the order. I don't even know if they could do that. Um, I'm sure they can, but I've never had anybody cancel my order. With Uber driving and Lyft, I've definitely had people cancel um, the drive if it was too long of a wait or whatever. Or they just, whatever, for whatever reason, didn't feel, you know, they wanted to continue the ride with me. Um, they would cancel. So, um, those are kind of a little bit of the pros and cons with that. So, I got my gas. Um, I got my... Like I said, my food and stuff. And so now I'm about to turn on the app. And, you know, hope and pray that I get some good, you know, make some good amount of money. I would say the most that I've ever made in a day was $100. Some people may say that's not a lot. Some people may say that's a good amount. That's a decent amount. Which I think $100 is a decent amount. This is how I like to look at it, okay? When you... To me, DoorDash or these food service type of place, uh, type of jobs is not, in my opinion, is not for you to live off of and pay your rent and pay your car notes and all that. To me, I don't think so. It's definitely not, you're not making that much money. Well, I shouldn't say that. I don't know what other people are making, but I personally feel, I don't care if you're making a lot doing doing because there are days where there's it's slow there are days where you may not be able to drive because it you know there's no um like for instance door if you don't have a rating where you could just door dash at any time that's another con that i don't like about DoorDash. with uber and lyft you are able to turn it on and just drive but with DoorDash, if you don't have a certain rating, you're not able to just turn on the app and drive. You have to wait until there is availability in your area, in your town that you selected, the different cities you select to drive. You have to wait till there's enough, you know, there's the area is busy and it'll tell you it's a red, like it'll, it'll have a map of the different areas that you chose and selected that you're willing to drive in and it'll turn red and it'll say dash now. And you can go ahead and start driving and then but that can be up like for like an hour or so and then after that you have to wait until that area or a different area lights up in red which means okay it's busy you can dash now you can't just turn around and go and dash unless you have a rating where you're a great excellent dasher and they'll allow you to drive at any time um I think my sister said you have to have had a hundred orders within a month or something to have the ability to dash whenever you want and because I do this part-time I don't drive a lot so um, that may be a little bit hard for me but anyway um, um, now I'm going to turn on my app the best times it seemed like it's busy oh the most I made in a, uh, in a day was a hundred dollars and that was actually I think like Christmas or Thanksgiving um, uh, no, it had me Thanksgiving. I think Thanksgiving, like the day before Thanksgiving or something. Yeah, it was Thanksgiving, the day before Thanksgiving because 
Um, I remember a lot of people, you know, they either needed something from the store because they were cooking the next day or people knew they were cooking the next day. So they wasn't going to cook the day before. So it was definitely busy. But a lot of times it's busy when it's holidays, when the weather is bad, um, or like evening to nighttime or early morning. But, um, right now it's like 2 20, 2 37. So it's a Saturday. So who knows? I'm hoping I can make a nice amount of money before I go in. I'm going to try to stay out here. It's about maybe six or seven because I do want to go home. Like I'm really looking forward to going home. Um, I'm going to give me something to eat, go home, relax and, um, you know, watch some TV and stuff and just relax while my daughter's on my sister house spending the night. So I want to have a good, a good evening or a good afternoon slash evening days of work. And I hope I make a decent amount. That's another thing I wanted to say. Um, about the, the hundred dollars or so so it may not be a lot to people it may not be it may be something but for me i don't feel like this is not a full-time job to pay your bills i don't feel like it i don't i just even if you're driving full-time every single day all day you have to think the, of the amount of bills you have paying rent and car notes and car and insurance and stuff like that's a lot of uh, groceries that's a lot to be door dashing and it, it can drain you if you're doing this on a consistent basis instead of doing it as making extra money and having fun with it 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 feels like a job and that takes the fun out of making you know a little extra side hustle you know as it makes some extra money it's great for me because when i need you know either gas in my car or i remember uh maybe like a month or so ago I, I had paid all, so all bills or whatever, and I needed some money for groceries. And I went out, I door dashed, and I made like maybe, I don't know, $115, $115 or whatever. And I put that on, and it's just me and Amara. So it was well enough for me to get groceries. So it's stuff like that. It's small bills in my mind. Groceries, gas, maybe a, a small utility bill. If your kid has a lunch, uh, has, um, you put money on their lunch. Like I, I put money on Josiah's lunch account at his school. I'm in charge of, you know, doing that. So it like little things like that. I feel like it helps a lot. And so it is, these services are very beneficial. Um, but yeah, anyway, I've done enough talking. Let me go ahead and turn this app on. Hopefully, we have a good driving day today and make some money. Okay, so I can show you guys this order. So I just got this order. I just turned it on. Um, you see where it says this offer, $8.50. I, I have to go to two places. Um, this place, which is Lago's Kitchen, which is right here. And then I think there was the other place was Walgreens. So I'm going to go in here. They want okra soup with goat milk. I'm sorry, goat meat. Listen to each his own. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to put you guys right up here. And you guys can see me walk in. So I'll be right back. Okay, so the second stop was Walgreens. And I hope you guys can hear me over this music. Um, but I have to get some... V8 juice and some Alka Salsa. So I am, I don't know if it's down here. Um, maybe so. No, I think it's on the other side. Alka Salsa helps with your stomach, right? They want. The Alka Salsa Plus Power Max Maximum. So, the good thing is, it definitely gives you the exact pictures. So, that way, if you've never seen the item before, you can really see what it looks like. So, let me see if they have that, which already it looks like they don't. They want the night, the cold and flu, day and night. So, I don't see it anywhere. So, I'm going to um, <clears throat> so I'm going to put item unavailable. Confirm. Oh, usually they um, allow substitutions, but they just gave me a refund. So, now they just want some V8 juice. But I'm checking here just one more time. 
to make sure I didn't overlook anything. Okay, so I was able to get, actually able to find the original. This is what they were looking for. Um, it was in the cold and flu section, which is pretty much the other aisle. And they wanted um, some V8, uh, there you go, V8 splash juice. And they got this soup, so they must be sick, or somebody must be sick. But anyway, let's go. Okay, y'all, so I am at a hotel, Best Western. I hope y'all can hear me over um, this loud expressway, but I'm at a Best Western, so yeah. Not only apartments and houses, hotels too. <laughs> Jobs, they got us delivering it all. So let me go up here and get these people their food. I hope they're not sick, because what they order sounds like somebody is sick, and I'm not trying to catch nothing. I just delivered it, and she gave me a five dollar tip, y'all. <laughs> So, you know, sometimes it definitely pays off um, to do these <laughs> little, not difficult, it wasn't difficult at all, but you know, um, not as smooth, you know, orders, but sometimes they do pay off. Um, another thing I want to point out is a lot of times, I want to say a good 95% of the time, you're, the money that you're making is from tips. Because DoorDash, and I don't know if people know this, but DoorDash themselves only pay you about $2. And I'm not exaggerating. They only pay you a couple dollars. Everything else, so let me see if I can bring that up. Let me see if I can actually show y'all. Um, let me see. Okay, so actually this order, okay, so I guess it depends. So, cause this order, DoorDash, so the 850 was actually DoorDash's pay. So I think what happens is depending on the um, mileage and how many stores the person is going to, how much, like depending on the entire order, I don't have another battery and my battery, my camera's about to die. But depending on the order, it depends on how much DoorDash will make, uh, pay you and the actual person. DoorDash is the one that paid me a 50, but she gave me a fat all tip. So, but most of the time, again, a lot of your tips is what's really paying you, not DoorDash. But I'm probably gonna have to finish on my phone because my battery's about to die and I did not bring another battery. So I'm gonna try to finish this on my phone, y'all. So I'll be back. Okay, so I'm at this place called Rio Rodeo. I <laughs> said Rio. Rodeo Goat. And I got two orders actually. So another thing about picking up orders is people can add a route to your order if they're also ordering at the same place. So I had one order who was ordering here and it was for $5. And then there was another person's order that came through that was ordering something from here and they add an additional $4. So one route, well actually two routes, but one restaurant, two orders and I made a five dollar order into a nine dollar order so let's go deliver them okay i gotta drop off all the way on the third floor this is what i'm talking about i mean it's not that bad but jesus christ can we get an elevator or something <laughs> All right, when I tell you these orders really, ugh. so I went into this, it's called Indian, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's called Indian Bazaar. It's a Indian store. I don't know nothing of what I'm looking at. This actually was uh, better than the first store I went to before a couple months ago. I was completely lost. I was in that store for 45 minutes. Usually they give you uh, an, an amount of time to finish the order. I had 13 minutes. <laughs> I was in there for 30 minutes. Oh my God. It, wa it was only five items, but when you don't know the language, it's hard. Whew. Let me go deliver this stuff. Hey y'all. Okay. So I got, I got y'all propped up like in my steering wheel. So I got to try to, not to move so much and make sure I look this way. Um, but I got you guys on my camera um, because, well, you guys know my battery died, but I wanted to finish here right now. I'm in the parking lot of Walmart, but I wanted to finish up this video because when I go home, it's a wrap. Um, so I, it is 8.20 p.m. 
your girl was out past her bedtime okay um wasn't the plan but whatever i was uploading um what is it i was doing tiktoks and talking to people and commenting out my that video went crazy today so i think that took uh, a lot of my time i could have made more money than what i did and probably stopped sooner than what i wanted to um uh, but you know i was just doing too much anyway so let me finish off and let you guys know so i may i will show you guys but i'm on my phone um but i made today 38 dollars and some change okay i know that's not a lot um but if i was to continue like it's still busy it's 8 20 on a friday it's still busy i could still go but i'm tired um and then i just went to the store i went to walmart i went to the dollar store because i gotta get some valentine's day stuff um arts and crafts for my daughter you know for they're doing like the little boxes you know they want you to make the tissue boxes into valentine's day you know boxes and so they can put the little cards and candy they're gonna have a valentine's day party and all that stuff so i needed to get that stuff while i was out because i'm not going to do it tomorrow um and then i got her some cute little valentine's day stuff that i'm gonna make, I'm gonna make a little, ba little bag i know i went left a little bit i'm gonna get back to doordash um but i, I am gonna make a separate video of uh, like a full valentine's day video um probably starting like a, like a day or so before because i want to show you guys what i'm going to put in her bag and then i'm going to resume on the day of valentine's day um i'm going to give her you know her gift bag we're going to bake cookies I, I have valentine's day cookies that i bought a while back um and then we're going to have dinner i may actually just get a pizza because i'm probably not going to feel like cooking but you know just you know have a nice little valentine's day but anyway this is not about that um but yeah i made 38 dollars, and so it's not a lot um but again like i said in the beginning of this vlog you know it's sometimes you're gonna have your days where you make a nice little you know chump change and then sometimes you don't um 38 dollars. i mean that's some gas in my tank you know that's probably like a small amount towards a bill a utility bill or something um you know i can use that for whatever and what i do is if i don't need the money right away i'll just keep it so that's what i didn't tell you guys okay so there's certain options um that you can choose on how to and, and you guys can use this video if you are thinking about being a door dasher or whatever use this as like a little guide or just like a little insight or whatever but um there's three ways that you can um distribute your money they have your bank account of course um but you can do the option of picking a day where your money is transferred into your bank account every week. So I put Monday, I just put a random day. I put Monday. So every Monday at whatever I made, you know, within that previous week or whatever, it always, tra it'll transfer on Mondays into my bank account. That can take three days, but I did it one time like that and it literally showed up the next day. Uh, so that's one method the other method is you can put down your debit card which is still connected to your bank it's just a fee it's a 199 it's a one dollar and 99 cent fee that's what i use because you instantly get the money um that's what i use because a lot, a lot of times i need my money right away so i just transfer it after i'm done driving for that day the only thing with that particular method is you can only transfer your money out and cash out one time a day so if you cashed out at 7 p.m on that day you can't cash out for the rest of the day you gotta wait till tomorrow which is fine like i i know you know i make sure okay is this all the time all the you know am i gonna do any more driving today before i cash out then they have the the dasher direct visa card which i just actually signed up for yesterday or day before yesterday and it's like a, a little debit or credit D, a visa card it's just that that's free so there's no fee or anything with that um so whatever money that you make it goes directly on that card you can add it to apple pay i've used it as apple pay it's a regular like debit card i just signed up for it so my card is supposed to come in two weeks um but you um they give you uh, a virtual number that you can use you can use for apple pay or whatever so you get your card so that's that's good too and with that card there's a lot of uh like cash back percentages percentages you get off of uh, certain foods and gas and things like that so that's cool um it's it's another cool way of, uh, another cool method to use i just my number one is the um debit card to my bank account and it goes straight there that's my my thing because um 
I want my stuff now. I mean, obviously with the direct, the DoorDash Direct, you get your stuff, you know, right then and there. But the difference is I like my money to be in my bank account because that way I can, if a bill is due or whatever, it could just take, you know, obviously the money is there in my bank account and it takes it right out versus DoorDash Direct. That's on a whole nother card. I don't know if you can transfer whatever that's on your DoorDash Direct into your bank account. I don't know. Um, but it's just easier for me to have it in my safe place in my bank account and I can do whatever I please with it. But, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, like I said, it, it wasn't a lot, but that's fine. I, I look at it like this. Look at this stuff. Look at this. I don't know if y'all can see. Hold, can y'all see that? Hold on. Okay. Ooh, the quality is so much better when I turn the camera like this. But anyway, you see that? I bought all this stuff with my DoorDash money I made today. So it comes in handy when you got to do little stuff like this, like get stuff for your kids that you forgot to get throughout the week or last minute shopping that you forgot to do. I got all this stuff. This was like $20. Then I went to Walmart and got, I got her like a cute little bear. Where is it at? It's somewhere over here. I don't know. I think right there. I got a cute little bear. Got her stuff for her party. You know, the construction paper. You know, it. I got a lot of, you look, well, this is my salad. But, um, you know, so, I mean, it helps. It really does help. I hope this was informative for anybody who's interested in doing DoorDash or just to, you know, keep this, you know, in the back of your mind. I try to be honest and let you guys know what it really is to be a DoorDasher. Um, it's not bad. I recommend it. It's not bad. I recommend it. But anyway, I'll catch you guys on another video.